I have a fun, quick and easy way to use pages like this. Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. That's right, I'm going to show you another awesome idea on how you can use a page like this. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. In particular, I want to thank all of you who left me such heartwarming comments on a recent video that I made and I really truly appreciate it and you know who you are. So thank you so much. If you downloaded my Fruit Basket digital paper pack, papers like this were in the pack, but you don't have to have my paper to be able to do the project that I'm going to show you today. You can actually use any paper, but a lot of paper pads, whether you purchase them at the store or you buy them online, will have what is known as a border page. That is just a whole bunch of lines on a page that might have different images running. They can run this way or this way. Sometimes those pages can be confusing, but today I have an awesome idea for how we can use them. So I'm going to flip to my overhead camera because y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, so I've already made one, but I'm going to hold off on showing it until we make this one because I want you to see the whole process and to see how easy it is. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this piece. It is eight and a half by 11. In my paper pack, this particular sheet comes in four different colors. So I am just going to take it and we're going to cut out the individual bands. And we're going to do some more cutting of these bands in just a minute. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and separate them all. So, now that we have these, I'm going to take these and just cut them down to one inch strips. And I'll save this because I can use it elsewhere. Just cut yourself some one inch strips. I'm actually going to cut four one-inch strips. And as you're able to see, we have these strips left over. I'll just place them in my pack. So now that we have these four pieces, I am just going to decide how I want it. So I know I'm going to just sit this one to the side. We're going to take one and cut it at eight inches. Then we're going to take one of the opposing patterns and we're going to cut it down to seven. So we'll have one that's eight, one that's seven, and then we'll have these two left. And what I'm about to do, you can actually add as many as you want, but I thought that this would be cute. So now I'm going to bring in my glue. We're going to place some glue like that. And then I'll take this piece and we're just going to press it down. And then I just like to go on the inside and really press to make sure that everything stays in place. So that was the seven inch. We're going to take the eight inch and do the same thing. Add some glue and form a loop. Then I'll go on the inside and we're just going to get this nice and stuck. And so while the eight inch is drying, I am going to take the seven inch and on the inside here, you can see that seam. So take your seam and place it down and visualize the middle of it. So there's the middle where my seam is, 
I'm just going to take this piece and we're going to press it down into that seam. So I am going to take some glue, run it along the seam, and I'll show you. Hopefully you can see that glue in there. So I'll stand it up and I'm just going to take this piece. We're going to press it into the seam. Then I'll take my bone folder or whatever you want to use and just really start working that stick. You can use your hot glue gun for this part as well, but you just want to make sure that it really, really dries. So I'm going to place that right there. We're going to take this one and do the same thing. So I am just going to take my glue, place my glue on that seam, place it down, and then go right in the middle and press it into that glue. And then just make sure that you have a nice stick. And then you're going to have two pieces that look like this. One will be smaller than the other. So now that we have our two, we're going to take this smaller one. Pretty sure you can see what I'm doing here and what I'm making. We're making a very sweet little bow that we're going to use to decorate something cute. And we'll do that in this video as well. So let's go ahead and get that nice and stuck. And you can see how my bow looks. You can go back and poof out your loops if you want. Now what I did was I saved one of these strips because I want to make the bottom of the bow where I cut out the flags. But first I want to see if that'll fit on this. And I don't think so. I don't think I get the look that I want. So I'm just going to take some glue, add some glue across here. We're going to take this piece and let's just place it down on this one. Y'all, this is a very simplified way of making a bow, but then when you see how we use it on our project, you're going to be able to see how this really is a problem solver for those times when we find ourselves in a pinch. I'm going to take my scissors and just cut off this end here. So now you're able to see that I have a bow. All I'm going to do is my little flag shape here. And I'm just cutting out a triangle going from point to point like that. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. So we just cut to that point. And then we just cut to this point on this side. So now we have our sweet little bow. You can see how cute that actually is. I've already made this one. And then I have this stripe to go with that one. And we have this one inch piece to go with this one. Here's what I'm thinking. So let's say you only have a plain white bag or you want to decorate some white bags because you're going to a birthday party or a celebration and you want to give a little gift, but you don't want to just hand it off. You have something small or maybe even something large and you want to put it in a bag. So we can take this bow, put it right there, and then we can border the bottom with this. So that's exactly what I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to take my glue, place some glue here. And I'm going to stand this up so that I can see where I'm placing this. And now I'll just go in with my bone folder to make sure that everything is nice and stuck. So I can stop here because I have a nice decorative bag, but I think what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just add a little bit of banding to the bottom. And I'm going to do that using my tape. So let's just go ahead and put that tape right there. 
and we'll place that piece right there. Then I'll take my scissors and we'll trim away the excess. You can take this excess and we can transfer it to the back of the bag, but I'm not going to do that right now because I really wanted to show you just how simple it is to be able to take some of the banded papers that you have and create decorative pieces for a plain white bag or a plain white gift box. Then we can take a leftover piece, and this piece I didn't cut down to one inch, but it was left over from that same sheet that I was working with. We can cut this piece, then we can fold it in half, and that gives us a nice little tag once you write your message, you can add some tape to the back of your tag and you can place it right there. Then I'm going to take one of my little Dollar Tree sticker packs let's take a message I think I'm just going to take the message that says celebrate and we're going to put that right there in the middle. So my friends, with very minimal supplies, you can see that we took a banded page, a page that simply has bands of graphics on it, and we use that to create our own bow, our own tag, and then a decorative strip for the bag, and I used a Dollar Tree sticker just to really accentuate the purpose of this bag. Y'all look at how stinking cute this is. So simple, so easy, but so impactful. So even if you don't have my Fruit Basket Digital Kit, you can do this with the papers in your stash. If you are interested in the Fruit Basket Kit, I will link the video where I walk you through what the pages of the kit look like, and I will also have my website linked in the description box below. So I hope that you have found this simple little video helpful. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, and be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.